What is up everybody, Tony here for another episode of Let's Play GTA 5 Fast and today we are hitting up Mr. Phillips. That's right, we're meeting Mr. Trevor Phillips today. So right now, coming off of the long stretch, I am just calling a cab and we're going to take a cab to the M on the map, which is Michael's house. But we're not going to be there for too long, as I save my game. We're not going to be there for too long because... We're going to be jumping right to the desert where Mr. Trevor does Trevor things. Hey, we're here. So here we are at Michael's house. Everything's looking good. Nighttime is very pretty. Go in the house, get the cutscene, and... Voila, we are Trevor. So now we're going to get into the Batmobile, a.k.a. Trevor's pickup truck thing. And we are going to go chase down some bikers. So this part of the mission is fairly straightforward. We're just driving and following the yellow line on the map. But we're going to be doing some shooting this mission. So that'll be fun. Oh, I crashed into a pole. That seems to happen a lot. Look at that sky. Wow. So yeah, a neat little Easter egg here. I don't know if it's an Easter egg or it's just like attention to detail, I guess. But my buddy in the back there. If you drive too crazy, you might go flying. But he won't go flying out of the car. That would have been lame. But let's see. He's probably going to go flying at some point from my reckless driving. My fast driving, I should say. It's not reckless. Totally in control. Hey, you see that? All right. Little bikers. Follow the van back to the rest of them. Then the lost MC are out of this region for good. The van's got to pass, but the guy. We're going to have these two bikers kind of keeping up with the truck up there. Um, you could take these guys out anytime you want. With the mod that I'm playing on right now, the aiming is a little bit um, touchy. It's uh, tweaked from the regular game, so I'm very used to the regular game, so I'm missing them right now. Usually I take them out right at the beginning, but it really doesn't matter because they can't hit you, and you could either drive into them or shoot them or just take them out however you want really so I think I just crash into them like that yeah so. oh I missed them I'll get them I'll get them they are not a threat there we go there's one now let's get the other one so we're basically just following this truck it's at a set speed so there's not, you can't really go um, super fast right now. But we want to get to the biker's trailer park. There's the other biker. And we're going to shoot some guys once we get there. Now I think this is another pretty difficult mission if anybody is a beginner to this game. Because there is a lot of people shooting at you. And it could be overwhelming. So my suggestion is to... If you want to take it slow, take your time, try to shoot like uh, the fuel tanks because they'll blow stuff up and it'll take out multiple bad guys, as we're going to see when we get there. Or you could just do what I do, which is shoot everybody in the head real fast. Either way works. Okay, so we're here now. So now the car's gonna slow down, you get out with Trevor, and you have it. You start with a shotgun. Now, I'm just gonna take everybody out as they come to me. The other thing you should definitely keep in mind is Trevor's ability. Trevor 
probably has the best ability in the game. He's basically invincible, and his gun does like double damage when you're using it. I'm going into here because there is armor and an AK. There. So now with my AK, I can actually shoot uh, some bad guys that are far away at the shotgun can reach. The other thing I'm doing is um, to take out the guys in the car or in the or on the bikes that will be coming right now. Um, I'll be slowing down time just because it's an easier shot that way. The dying shot. The other thing I just did was when I blew up that trailer over there, um, I looked away because the game slows down and it's like. When it like gives this cool slow motion effect, but since we're trying to play GTA fast, we don't want cool slow motion effects. We want fast motion at all times. So it's a little trick. Now you gotta take out all these guys on the bike. So as you see, I'm just running around with all the bikers. And now at this point, we want to just shoot as many guys as possible. So I'm just looking around on my map for any of the red dots, and I'm gonna shoot them until the red dots turn blue. So. We're almost at that point right now. My aim is not very good right now. Uh, should be coming up. I think this guy should be the last one. Yep, there we go. So now they're blinking blue, which means they're running away. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to run up to this tank, and kaboom. That's a death warp. Because now... We're there, in our car. Beautiful. It's one Very fast. With out bikers, so that was a decent shootout. And now we are just going to follow the yellow line and, well. and, and meet up I with a real badass. Now guys, this guy's really tough. I'm telling you right now, it's a very difficult battle in the game. And you're going to see, you need to follow my my guidance very closely here. Okay, so first, we're going to drive into his RV that he is cooking meth in. Pushing, pushing. Now it's very essential that you follow this. I'm going to skip the cutscene, and here comes the boss battle. Boom. Okay. Okay, did you get that? The boss battle's over. I know it was very difficult, but I'm hoping you could watch my video and, and learn how to, how to beat that guy, because I know it's very difficult. Anyways, that is pretty much the mission. We're now going to head back to Trevor's little ass house. Calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word. All we're doing is following the yellow line. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am. I'm not gonna raise my balding head. Very straightforward. Try not to crash into anything. Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Dudley, yes it is! And you told me about to the yellow line. And, who is the other one? and that'll be it once I get there. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will have the next mission up in just a couple of days. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. 128 BPM.